Representative Ilhan Omar took a big risk becoming the first Muslim refugee to ever ascend to the con to a Congress and the House of Representatives representing <laughs> yeah that's right there yeah representing Minnesota so you think this is all hockey door that everyone's gonna accept this uh, Muslim refugee no <laughs> and the reason why is so simple she's Muslim and when you have the religious the religious right they will condemn Ilhan Omar for the tr most trivial of things so twice she's been called out and twice she's been called out for the wrong reasons so let me explain to you a couple months ago she was talking talking about 9-11 in which uh, <laughs> in which she pretty much talks about you know what happened and well let me give you the quote she had for it now what she said during this time um, was taken out of context by not just by a lot of uh, conservatives including should I say it she said that far too long we have lived with the discomfort of being a second-class citizen and frankly, I'm tired of it. And every single Muslim in this country should be tired of it. CAIR was founded after 9-11 because they recognized some people did something and that all of us were starting to lose access to our civil liberties. To clarify, CAIR is the Council for American Islamic Relations. She continues, as an American member of Congress, I have to make sure I live up to the ideals of fighting for liberty and justice. Those are very much rooted in the reasons why my family came here. Now, I could be wrong, but Ilhan Omar was right. She said that to, make, to clarify that, yes, I was a Muslim, but I should not be targeted because of 9-11. Her content... Now, her comments were taken way out of context by Ben, by Representative Ben Cyclops Crenshaw, in which he, uh, well, pretty much said, some people did something unbelievable. It's like, you forgot that you, she said other things. You're more focused on the fact that she's a Muslim. And this isn't the first time it's actually happened. <laughs> Just last week, she was talking about abortions and how the red states are using their religious right to ban abortions. In fact, a member, uh, representative of Oklahoma said that rape and incest are of God's will and that they should not be aborted. Their babies should not be aborted, at least. Oh, boy. So how do we explain this one? Well, here's what she did. She made this comment. If that was... This is what she said last week. If that was being proposed at any other country, we would be calling it a dangerous violation of human rights. But because it's happening here, with the support of ultra-conservatives' religious rights, we call it religious freedom. It's simply unthinkable. But this anti-choice movement isn't only unjust, it is dangerous. Because history has proven that when abortion is criminalized, the number of abortions do not simply go down. The number of deaths and injuries to women increase. If they cared about or were concerned about children, they would be concerned about the children that are being detained and those that are dying in camps across our borders. Or the children who are languishing in hunger and facing homelessness. We've seen time and time again the, those that talk about their faith and want to push policies because of their faith are the ones that are simply caught with the hypocrisy of not living it out in their personal lives. Oops. <laughs> She's got more. She was a mouthful. 
Because we, the, because we know those so-called religious politicians, when it comes to their life, their choices, they want to talk about freedom. But when it comes to other people's lives and other people's choices, they want to talk about religion. That is deep. That is just huge for Ilhan Omar to say. But, like, uh... Like before with 9-11, you have people who are going to spin this in a way that they feel proper. To, with back with Ben Crenshaw, it was that she said some people did something on 9-11. Yeah, some people did something on 9-11 and yet none of us did anything to stop it. And besides, those were not... Muslims. Those were radical extreme terrorists who wanted to push their freedom. This is why it was terrorism. Obviously. Now Fox News has kind of spun this in a way that made everyone a little disgusted. What happened was that they took the fact that she was bashing the, the faith of the people. Not exactly the religious <laughs> I mean, yeah, they, they said they were based, she was bashing religious people but for, for the fact that they were trashing the Muslims. It was just weird and incoherent of them to spin it in a way that, oh, he, she was bashing our faith. She was bashing our faith, religion. No, 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 no. She wasn't bashing your faith. She wasn't bashing your religion. She was bashing these abortion bans that have been going on in these red states. Alabama, Oklahoma, Missouri, Georgia, Ohio. And yeah, this is about, about making the women their slaves. That's what it boils down to. Making women their slaves. So how is So what is going on with this? <laughs> the people who are trying to say that this is the will of God. No, the will of God in the Bible is pro-abortion. The will of God did not say, I want to say, thus the women are our slaves. They are our baby makers. That's not what the Bible says. The Bible insights that the that if a man if a man suspects that the woman is cheating on him, he could assign for an abortion. And if the baby is and if the baby is aborted with this poisoned water, the woman is fine, but the baby dies. That's in the Bible. I I should I suggest you look it up. And yeah, they say that they're pro life. These Republicans, they're not pro-life. They care about a baby in a womb, then they care about a baby outside. They don't care about kids who are getting gunned down by right-wing fundamentalists or people who should not even have an access to a gun. They don't care about children who are crossing the border and locking them in cages, all of a sudden to die of you know, starvation or... Or a disease that is very preventable. No, they don't care about that. They also don't care about women who have to struggle, who have been, you know, choked and had a man's member in her member. They're not poor life at all. You could make this argument that hey, Ilhan Omar is doing is saying this because she wants she's Muslim and she wants to make a voice up. No. You're being racist about that. You're going after Ilhan Omar because of your racism. <laughs> and your xenophobia. And that needs to stop. Here's what else. If Fox News wasn't ba evil enough to bash Ilhan Omar with a doctored video saying that, oh, some people did something for 9-11, or, or we we need to stop the reli this faith that needs to go on, which is how they spun it. 
they went after Nancy Pelosi. Now, don't get me wrong. Nancy and I don't see eye to eye all that often. She is an establishment. She is for the corporations. And yet, she's Speaker of the House. She she needs to, she would more likely need to step down. But not like this. What happened is that Fox News at, did spin about this. Where she seems to have been mumbling. Oh, my speech. I want to discuss something. Uh, what am I reading now? Although they did spin and say, you know, you know, she's tired. She, this is a uh, real stressful. I mean, I could imagine being speaker of the house being real stressful, but at the same time, that's not what happened. They spun it into the way the thing that Speaker Pelosi was inebriated, which was not even the case. But if you think, but now Fox News had come out and apologized for that. Except it's still on Twitter. Why? Who else? President Donald Trump. Oh my god. We have an entirely massive buffoon running this country. Ilhan Omar is right. The religious right have got to stop. If you don't like the fact that I'm bad, I'm taking on these... Christians, talk to me about it. Meet me face to face. I dare you. 